Hello, hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So we're bringing back the topic that I've done, I think it's been like two weeks almost, the unexpected. As usual, pile number one is on your left, pile three is on the right. So for pile number one, we have the in-between tarot. Pile number two, we have the urban tarot. And pile number three, we have the triple goddess tarot. Tune in, choose your pile, and I'll see you in timestamps. Hello, pile number one. Let's see what is up. The unexpected. What is the next thing that is going to surprise you? Let's go. If you've chosen the in-between tarot, let's see what this is going to be about. First of all, give me one sec. The unexpected. Okay, first of all, we have the devil. Mm, this is going to be an interesting one, that is for sure. Let's see what is this devil is about. We have the knight of coins. And we have the four of coins. Okay. Okay. What this is connected to is, first of all, um, someone tends to, I'm seeing here, either get obsessed with their work or someone tends to um, all the time feel like they're obligated to do things even if it's not their place. Someone tends to overdo something, take someone else's job and make it their own overdoing overall overindulging over overworking in general and i think that's where you're going to see things change especially if some of you have been under some sort of pressure immense pressure but um feels like someone didn't have maybe good boundaries or someone was bullied either in the workplace someone something was happening where someone wasn't appreciated repression so in whichever case you were repressed it seems like you're going to start seeing the situation more clearly i don't i'm hearing i don't know why i'm feeling so heavy i don't know why i keep on doing this i don't know why i keep allowing this to happen in my life so let's see what is happening next let's put this right here for most of you this is connected to work projects um colleagues and bosses If you have your own business, this is about your own business. If something wasn't going your way, something was feeling really heavy, like you were in some sort of vortex, you couldn't find a way out, that's where the unexpected hits. Let's see how. We have the temperance. We have the lovers. We have the seven of swords. You are starting to see what was hidden behind the surface. What was the problem of this very heavy energy, what what it meant for you, what, what it will mean for you in your life. And you're coming out of a very confusing situation or a situation that's going to feel heavy or already feels heavy to you, where before you couldn't access this tree. Now, in the future energies, it feels like this veil is being lifted in order for you to access the fruit, you're going to have to interpret this, in order for you to access the fruit of that protected tree, something wasn't accessible for you before, and you're going to start seeing, releasing some sort of a demon, and interpret it again, right? We're releasing some sort of demon, we're allowing ourselves to break through from this, but something that has to be cleared, so something is being cleared here, a decision is being made, in order for us to seek for clarity, um, I don't want any trickstery, I don't want any games anymore, I'm making decisions, I'm going to lift that veil in order for me to access the fruit of labor, to access maybe the abundance that felt like it was repressed by something or someone else. Let's clarify the seven of swords. 
Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Maybe you are dealing with someone who has bad coping mechanisms that's quite toxic. Um, or maybe you yourself tend to do that and it feels like you want change and you take an action and that change starts playing itself in your life and you start releasing some sort of a burden, heaviness, heavy energy, dense energy. Maybe you didn't know before why shit is going down and you're starting to see what is the cockroach on the floor. What does that mean? Maybe some of you noticed um, quite a lot of bugs, um, spiders in, in various random places or on you. And those bugs where, especially if you're afraid or if you're mm, a bit like weird about them, those bugs were trying to tell you, give you a message. What needs to be cleansed out of your system, out of your space? And you're going to be like, ah, now I know what it means. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Let's see. Let's let gravity do the work. You have a star. I finally can see where I'm going because I've taken responsibility in my hands to succeed, to protect my energy, to protect my space. I'm taking responsibility for what I have gathered in my space. This could be some sort of energy that you have invited. Um, either by the way you think about things or something that you let in. Or someone that you allow to step on top of you. Okay, and it seems like you are coming out on top of this situation. This is going to be a bit of a journey. But I feel like when, when once realization hits, it hits you hard and you're like, okay, now I know what to do. What is the advice here for pile number one? What is the advice? Let, let the tower strike. See, the tower wants to come through already here. That's why it's called the in-between tarot. The devil, the next card is the tower. So this is a bit of a mashup of both. Allow the tower to strike that pyramid right here so you can access the fruit of your labor. What does this pyramid, this veil represent in your life? Maybe you thought that you were protecting this tree, but you were actually making it worse for some of you, maybe by grasping onto this too much or by overly protecting yourself and like being a, constantly feeling like you have to fight for something. And because you're inviting that tower, you are creating the, the ripples yourself. And those ripples, I'm seeing now flowing water instead of lake water, allow you to cleanse quite a lot out of your space, out of your system. How are you going to feel once the tower strikes? But it's interesting because the tower leads to the star. See here? And we have the star right here. So your wish to succeed here happens around the time when the tower strikes, but it feels like you invited yourself. It's not an interference. You realize that you need to knock that shield down. You're doing it consciously like, okay, let me face what I didn't want to see before. And you then end up in a winning position. Whew, this is an interesting one. Let me tell you. How you're going to feel once the tower strikes. That this was premeditated, that this was something that was supposed to happen. You are accelerating the change with the justice and the, with the wheel, okay? You started seeing the reflection of yourself, of your life, what is happening. And you're deciding to take matters in your own hands. Um, you could, you know, invite this change just mentally. You don't have to do a lot of things for some of you. You think of something and you go, damn, I wish this could change. I'm ready for a new start or I'm ready to focus on my goal. And um, or I'm ready to start seeing the fruits of labor. So whatever has to happen in order for me to achieve that, bring it on. And the minute you say bring it on, whatever that triangle represents here, 
that shield represents that's being knocked down, but you're ready for it to be knocked down. In which area of life we're seeing this change? I'm using the steampunk keeper now. In which area of life are we seeing this change? In which area of life are we seeing this change? Something maybe to do with formalities, documents, government, or institutions. And for others of you, this is connected to a masculine energy in your life, or this could be both, okay? Some sort of partnership, would it be platonic, would it be romantic, would it be business? That's where the tower strikes and you start seeing the change. Okay, so once the change starts happening, what can we expect next? I feel like those two cards want to come out. We have the Emperor. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight of Coins. Okay, bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Wands. It feels like then you somehow restructuring yourself, restructuring your life. Um, you're in, in a much more balanced, balanced space. It's like you are in charge of something that you didn't feel like you were in charge of and you couldn't make sense of why. Why? Because something had to be knocked down, something that you kept allowing to happen in your life. It might be at first quite a confusing stage to be in, but it seems like you are going to have to Give yourself time in order to incorporate these changes, okay? Just don't get lost in your head with the Eight of Swords. Don't create scenarios that are not necessarily true. Just reflect on what is, that's all. And it feels like you're becoming quite motivated to pursue something, to work on something, to invest your time and energy consistently. Because again, we have a star here. Because you have a dream of some sorts, maybe to be seen, maybe to be noticed, maybe to be acknowledged for who you truly are and maybe you were not seen before. And now you will be, okay? You will be and you will be cared for. There is some sort of, either I'm hearing you cared by the universe or you cared by someone. There is help that is coming your way after a difficult battle or after some sort of addiction um, or maybe after a confusing spiritual experience even, okay? And you're noticing what was triggering or what was interfering with your energy. That's going to be super unexpected and it's quite mysterious pile. So I can't wait to hear how this ties into your life if you are ready to share and if you're this pile leave a star emoji for me i'll know who you are have a great week if you need more content i'll see you on patreon bye for now hey tribe so whoever has chosen pile number two let's go the urban tarot the unexpected in which area of life this is or what is happening whatever the cards want to talk about Wow, you've got the Wheel of Fortune flip straight away. You expect massive changes, group number two. Let's see how they're gonna look like. The wheel started spinning already. We have the Queen of Wands in this deck. She's called the Public Defender. Oh, wow. We have the Eight of Wands in this deck. It's called Swiftness. I split the deck. We have the Ten of Ooh, Ten of Swords. You know what? You might have wanted to look at one more pile because there is mm, the feeling is a bit different, but the message might be a bit similar. Let me use the Keeper deck. Let's see in which area of life this is happening. By the way, this is Steampunk Keeper. And if you need extra content, I'll see you on Patreon on the other side. We have the Stress and Fear. Oh, 
we have abundance and I want one more. We have the courthouse. Okay, so formalities. Um, maybe you're dealing with courts. Uh, maybe you are going to be um, seeking to win some sort of a case or you're dealing with some sort of investment I'm seeing here. And someone was or will be quite stressed about it. They're like, oh, I feel like something's going to come unexpectedly. I don't know what is the outcome of this and I am in my head too much so make sure that you don't stress yourself too much because at the end of the day it's not worth it it's not worth it don't get stuck in your head we also have the judgment oh okay we have the six of swords i think you can start expecting some sort of progress I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing banks. I'm seeing financial dealings. I'm seeing contracts. But why is the Ten of Swords here? I'm interested. Let me split the deck. Oh, the Tower. What has to end? You are motivated to change. You're going to get this hit of energy. I am motivated to make a massive freaking change in my life. Let's go. But in the other pile, what happened there was like, okay, so we are allowing something to fall away and then we are allowing the uh, rewards. Here, it's, it's different. Here, you first of all allowing the change to happen and meanwhile, the change is happening and the progress starts going. You literally like... You're on the move. You're on the move. You're ready to expand. You want to see the... You want to you wanna reap your rewards um, for the hard work or for what you invested your time and energy in. But the fall, fall away or fallout will happen once this is already in the works. So let's see... We're seeking for financial gain or we're seeking to win a case or sign a contract. We are stressed about it, but the wheel of fortune is there. The wheel of fortune is saying that you are making progress. Queen of Wands, you are very motivated. You're very fiery about that. You can't wait for it to happen. And once it starts happening and you st start seeing progress and movement, um, that's when the Tower and Ten of Swords hits. So let me see in which area of life this is hidden. Okay, <laughs> some of you who who were chilling too much before and were like, I'm just going to allow everything to play out. I'm not going to take charge. I'm just going to literally surrendering is good, but not for too long, right? Because we always on this, you know, on this loop. We go up, we go down, you know, so we have to take charge of the wheel, then we have to surrender. So you got to notice when it happens. Someone completely wanted to give responsibility to the universe, God, or, or another personal institution for everything to play out. But you're realizing that you actually have to add to it. And you may not get enough rest or you may not get a break from something. And you're like, damn, okay. Um, also, this could be connected to a person who has strong sorry, feminine energy. I'm hearing it's enough, it's enough of contemplation. It's enough of procrastination. Now I got to do what I got to do. And you are surprising yourself because the energy that you're stepping into is the queen of wands. You're literally craving for movement. Maybe you're literally moving. Maybe you are traveling and you're like, okay, I need to get my shit together. In order for me to travel, I have to work on my abundance, on my financial abundance. I need to stop sitting around. For others of you, if you are postponing something, you're like, oh, I can't be bothered to, you know, take care of those documents or fill something in, visa or something like that. I need to stop doing that because I need to start working towards what I want in order to see this movement in my life. Mm -hmm. It's time to upgrade. It's time to upgrade. It's time to move forward. It's time to also... For some of you to take care of my body properly why have i been doing this to myself this whole time 
let's stop whining. This is the pile <laughs> that goes, let's stop freaking whining. Let's get to business. So maybe this is connected to someone else that you're talking to, or this could be you yourself talking to yourself and you go, damn, bringing on the energy. It's enough for me to continually see myself as a failure in one particular area of my life. So what do I decide to do? I decide to make changes in my maybe approach, the way I think about things, or what I do in my day-to-day -day life. Okay, what can we expect happening next? It starts, it's time, it's time to take care of my well-being, my health, my wealth. Okay, that is the, the pile. What is happening next? We have the Hierophant. We're signing some sort of contract. Would it be a spiritual? Would it be an actual contract? Yeah, you're finding yourself in some sort of partnership. Mm, it seems like this partnership requires some time or maybe patience. Or you know that you can't rush it. You can't rush this business deal. You can't rush this partnership, this contract. Maybe marriage even or relationship of some sorts um because you know that this is this just needs a moment you, you have to build upon it brick by brick instead of trying to distract yourself with things other things to do maybe scrolling on social media things like that i'm i can't continue distracting myself when it comes to relationship i'd say constantly looking for something better why don't I give something a chance, be present, invest my time consistently into something and see what grows out of it then? That is the pile. That is the vibe. There's a lot of strength in this pile. Uh, I do feel like for some of you, you are strengthening your bodies. You want to feel better for yourself. You want to be stronger. You want to invest time and energy in maybe workouts or better diet or taking care of maybe part of your body that was neglected before. You are committing to something here. Would it be business? Would it be partnership or yourself? You are in full commitment. I am not going to be swayed. I'm not going to be distracted anymore. I need to stop fooling around. That is the pile. <laughs> this is no bullshit pile. That's why I like it. So if you need more content, I'll see you on Patreon. I hope this made sense. Um, and if you've chosen this pile, can you leave a bicycle emoji? <laughs> I'll know who you are with this eight of wands right here. I'll catch you the next time. Try. Bye for now. Hello, tribe. Pile number three. Let's see what we got. If you've chosen the triple goddess tarot, the unexpected... The unexpected you've got the Queen of Cups. Whoosh. Prediction is coming true. Okay, and maybe you are like, hmm, either you draw cards for yourself or you ask someone to pull cards for you. Maybe you went to any any kind of spiritual person it doesn't necessarily have to do with tarot this could be uh, with even energy work or energy healing anything like that but um, it's a very psychic pile something that was said to you maybe intuitively or by someone else it's coming true and you're like damn i did not expect it to happen to this point like it's it's crazy that it was so specific and it happened exactly the way that I felt or I was told. Let's see what else we got here. I can't believe that. It's working on not only my life, but my body. There is something that was predicted or will be predicted that made someone realize some very important things about their life. And 
they recognized what they wanted to leave behind. Maybe they couldn't pull it out of their subconscious and they were told by someone or maybe by cards what to look at, what needs to be in the background, what's not the priority. And they realize that and they go like, ooh, so that's my priority. Now let's focus on that. And it seems like the sun starts shining then. Okay. Some sort of healing is working on you really, really well. If you recently went, are you thinking about some sort of heal healing technique? Okay. Someone is also surprising themselves by quitting a habit that they didn't like having because they thought that it's going to be much more difficult to, to do that. But in actuality, once they try, they go, oof. So my mind was just keeping me away from coming out on the other end. It's actually much easier than I thought it would be. You're working with the universe. You're pulling um, the gifts from the universe. I don't know what that means to you, but you, you're in good partnership, in good contract with a source, with a God, and you want to work together. You want to grow. Your abilities are growing, okay? Your talents, your skills, and especially psychic or spiritual, energetic abilities, whatever you're doing, is growing, and it's rapidly growing. You're going to start seeing the change very drastically, it might even at first throw you off because you're like, damn, there's that's intense, that's a lot. But I feel like um, throughout time, you're going to settle. You're going to know how to balance it out exactly with the six of pentacles. You, you'll have a better, better give and take balance. Okay, why is the hero fine here? You may even sign yourself up for a course or a spiritual retreat of some sorts. And you're going to find yourself learning and growing quite a lot through that. Any kind of collective activities will be important. What did I say? Three of Cups. It feels like what might surprise you that um, the people that you'll surround yourself with or maybe where you go, that you work with people collectively or maybe a social event of some sort, you may find yourself being overwhelmed by something. But that makes you realize why. It's like a light bulb moment. Why am I, why am I triggered? Or why am I feeling so sensitive in this situation? Why am I anxious about it? And you start questioning yourself and that takes you maybe all the way your childhood and you're like ah that's what i borrowed it from that's the impact so now understanding that i can proceed i can progress because if i don't see something i don't recognize this i don't recognize it i cannot improve i cannot improve in which area of life we're seeing this change the unexpected i'm using the steampunk keeper deck Someone might be receiving a gift or really nice gesture from the other that makes them a bit anxious. I don't know why. Like tense. The person is saying, take that. Or, you know, I want to help you with this. And you go, oh, but that is too much. You shouldn't. Nope. The cards are saying, don't do it like that. If you're being gifted something, it means that you're worth it. Take it. Or the other person really wants to appreciate you. Or universe itself. Okay. We have partnership. We have prison and restriction. Someone was definitely restricted. Um, someone felt like partnership twice. Someone felt like they were somehow imprisoned in, in one particular situation in their life. Would it be work-wise? Um, would it be connected to your home or partnerships overall? And um, with this card specifically, if you can see, she's leaving the house, but she's leaving so quickly that she even dropped her stuff. She's not looking back. 
I'm hearing, I felt so restricted here. I felt so... Hmm, almost claustrophobic here. Emotionally, energetically. That I realized that I had to make changes. Sorry, I'm getting comfy here. I realized that I have to make changes to this maybe specific partnership. I realized that it was time or it, there will be time for me to go out there and meet new people or socialize a little bit more and make new memories. It's time for me to go out there and feel the freedom that is accessible to me. You may also find out that someone has some sort of an issue with an institution or someone is being released from an institution. Could be mental, could be prison, could be anything like that. Released out of therapy or going into therapy and it's gonna be quite surprising. Or maybe you yourself want to sign up for it and you go, damn, I am figuring so much out about myself that I couldn't figure out on my own. So I'm grateful for this partnership releasing me from my own thoughts, releasing me from my own prison or allowing me to understand why I felt this restriction in the first place. Why I felt so tied to something. I'm also seeing someone studying. I'm also seeing someone studying, someone's upgrading their knowledge expanding this is a spiritual growth overall this pile is about spiritual growth okay i'm elevating i'm going higher it might not be all rainbows and unicorns but let's freaking go let's freaking go because i'm seeking for balance and i'm seeking i don't know why i'm hearing this to be understood or to be seen to be appreciated, to be loved in the right way. I'm not rushing this process. I'm not rushing this process. Because if I rushed it, I would get stuck in my head again. I'd get lost again. So taking some time to reflect on something mentally here. And that's when realization kicks in and you release yourself from some sort of mental turmoil or maybe emotional turmoil, releasing yourself from some sort of imprisonment and realizing what you can do next, what you want to start doing that's a bit out of your comfort zone. Um, doesn't feel very intense though, but it feels like I am free now. I can start over. Finally, I am breaking free. Finally, I am moving. Even if I feel fear, I'm not allowing that fear to stop me. Where before, I was allowed to, to be stopped. And I don't want that anymore. It's all about go, go, go. Let's go, but let's not go so fast that we don't see the road signs. Okay? Because I need to see the road, road signs. So in order for me to succeed, I have to have a very steady movement forward. Or I have to see a very steady progress in my partnerships. Because otherwise I don't want it. If there is no growth, if one person keeps um, screwing something up, um, how many times can I keep forgiving? Or how many times can I work for them? But I want an equal partnership. So it feels like someone is realizing that. What kind of partnership, business or romantic friendship they want. And they have a bit of a different approach to it. And this realization might come due to maybe some sort of event that's going to happen connected to the partnership, okay? Where you're going to start thinking, hmm, what is my next choice? But I'm hearing plenty of fish in the sea. The choice is yours, okay? So hopefully this made sense. That was a tricky one, this one, let me tell you. If you need extra content, I'll see you on Patreon and have a beautiful week. Until next time.